This video is about sine and cosine application problems. So what that really means is how do you find the equation given a graph? So you're ba working backwards, if you will. Alright, so here's the rules. I know there's a lot on the screen. Pause the video, write it down, then listen to me explain it. It's, it's okay. It's, it's a lot to think about, but you can do it. So first of all, I have the parent functions here for cosine, parent function for sine. Okay, you are familiar with these two. A, a cosine bx minus c plus d. It's the same for sine. You know the values of a, b, c, and d. We've seen this as we've done transformation. So what you're going to do is look at a graph and try to identify, first of all, what is a. So to find what a is, you're going to take the maximum y value, subtract the minimum y value of the graph, and then divide by 2. That's going to be your a. To find b, it involves the period. So remember, period is the time it takes to complete one cycle. You could make a cycle a peak, to, you measure a cycle peak to peak, or trough to trough. That's the low points. Either way, you're going to get the same length. Okay, so you measure that period number, that's usually time. So you'll set that value equal to 2 pi over b and solve it for b. We'll work through some problems, but I want you to write this down first. Okay, so to find C, you're going to take, you, you already know B from before, the X value, look at this description, plug in the X value where your segment begins. And I'll show you what I mean by segment, because these curves are, in, go on for infinity, you pick a segment to work with, and the X value where your segment begins is what you're going to put in for X. So B times whatever that X is, minus C equals zero, and you solve it for C, and that will be the C for your equation. D, remember, is your vertical height, or vertical shifting up and down. And to do that, you're going to take the highest value for y and add, this time, the lowest value for y and divide by 2. Okay? So it's a little different than A. A, you subtract the minimum and maximum. D, you, you add them. Okay? So keep these little rules handy as you walk through this. So one thing I want to point out, once you found A, B, C, D, you plug them into the equations. But remember, in the equation, C is always a negative. So whatever value you get for C when you run this step, when you put it in the equation, you have to change it, switch it to the opposite sign. Okay, so let's, let's try an example. All right, cosine equation. So we're going to write a cosine equation for this graph. Now remember, remember these lines go on from infinity to infinity. And so what you're going to have to do is pick a segment to study. All right, and I would always recommend... Pick a segment that's as close as you get to your uh, y-axis, okay? And if you can, make sure it's positive. So cosine, you know, generally looks like this. So I, it's kind of doing that right here. So I'm going to use this segment right here. I'm going to highlight it. So you're going to need to highlight your graph where you're looking so you don't lose your place from each time, okay? So this is the, the curve I'm going to look at, all right? So these values are going to be very important to me. That's the basic cosine shape. To find A, remember, A is 1 half the, minima, the maximum, I'm sorry, minus the minimum y value, all right? So 1 half. What's the maximum y value? That's a 3. Minus negative 3. So minus negative makes it plus 3. So 1 half of 6, which is 3. So A is 3. All right, so I know this value now. B, remember B, it's 2 pi over B is the period. Well, how long is the period? Look how long it takes to go from the peak to the peak. X values from negative 0.5 to positive 0.5. What's that distance? That's a whole 1, isn't it? It's a distance of 1. 1 half plus 1 half is 1. So set it equal to 1, cross multiply, b equals 2 pi. All right, so I know b. c. Remember, c is the x. You're going to calculate it using bx minus c. So b, we just found is 2 pi. x is the x value where your segment begins. Okay, so what's the x value right here where my segment begins? It's at negative 0.5. Minus c equals 0. Well, if I multiply 2 times, this is, this is negative 1 half, so that's going to be negative pi minus c equals 0, so c is equal to negative pi. 
right? So C is negative pi. Okay. D, remember D is one half, the maximum value, which is a three, plus the minimum value, which is negative three. So that's really one half times zero, which is zero. So the D is a zero. So when I put my all these values in the equation, it's going to look like this. Y equals three cosine parentheses here because B is two pi X. So you have a parenthesis because you have a C value. C is negative pi, but remember I have to switch my sign, so it's a plus pi. And I don't have to put plus zero because D is zero, it doesn't matter. But then this is my equation of my graph. So what you're gonna you're gonna check your answers today with your calculators, and I'll show you how to do that in class. Alright? So that's the cosine curve, that's how you walk through it. Let's try a sine curve. Alright, so what you'll notice, um, here's your parent function for sine. And look, I have the same exact curve I used before, but this time I'm going to write the equation as a sine curve. So remember the shape of a sine. It's an S, right? So I'm going to highlight a part of the curve, as close to zero as I can get, that mimics that shape. All right? So I'm going to use this part of the curve right here. All right, and then we're just going to walk through the same exact steps. A is 1 half the maximum, which is 3, minus the minimum, which is negative 3, so 1 half of 6, so it's still 3, A is still 3. B, remember B is 2 pi divided by B, and that's the length from peak to peak, trough to trough. So look, peak to peak here, what's the distance? From 0 0.5 to 1.5, that's the distance of 1, just like we did before. So B is going to equal 2 pi. All right, to find C, remember you take BX minus C equals 0. Well, B is 2 pi. X, remember, is the X value where your segment starts. So right here, it's between 0 and 0.5, which makes this 0 0.25, also known as 1 fourth, by the way, minus C equals 0. So 2 pi times 1 fourth, that's really 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2, so C is pi over 2, D, 1 half, the maximum, plus the minimum, remember Y values, maximum Y value, minimum Y value, so 1 half times 0, which is 0, so D is a 0 value, right? So my equation then is Y equals 3 times the sine I have a C value, so I need parentheses here. 2 pi x, pi over 2 is positive, so I need to make it negative in the equation. Negative pi over 2, and I don't have a D, so I don't have to put plus or minus anything yet. So there's my equation for sine. All right, so application problems. Yes, they're word problems, and they're going to generate a picture for you, and from that picture, you're going to find the equation. So we will work on this quite a bit in class, so just, just try it with me, okay? High tide in the bay is 4 meters above sea level. Low tide is 4 meters below sea level. The time between the high tides is approximately 12 hours. Assuming that it is high tide at time zero, so this is my time, at time zero it's high tide, and we said that that's four. Determine an equation describing the motion of the tides. Well, they work like a curve, right? They go high tide, low tide, back to high tide. Well, what's the lowest point? Low tide is 4 meters below zero, or sea level. We'll take zero as sea level. And th then it tells you it takes approximately 12 hours for it to come back to high tide, or from low tide to low tide. High tide to high tide is 12 hours. Low tide to low tide is 12 hours. All right? So mm -hmm. knowing that information, that is enough for us to generate an equation. All right, and it doesn't tell us on this one whether we're going to find sine or cosine. So looking at the shape, that's like a cup for cosine. So we're going to do a cosine curve. Most of your problems are going to tell you exactly which one to solve for, so that won't be a mystery. All right, this one we're going to find a cosine equation. All right, walking through our steps. A is 1 half 
the maximum y value minus the minimum y value, so it's negative 4. So it's 1 half times 8, which is 4. B, 2 pi over B is equal to the period. Well, the period is the time it takes from high point to high point, low point to low point. Well, that's 12 hours, right? So that's a 12. If I cross multiply that, divide by 12. So B is equal to pi over 6. Okay. C, remember C is BX minus C equals 0. Okay, well, it's BX. If I move the C over, it, it equals C. So B we just found is pi over 6. X, what's the X value where my curve starts? Well, in this picture, it's at 0. So guess what? C is equal to 0. Woohoo! That's an easy one. D, remember that's 1 half the max, which is, uh, let's see, 4. And this one is plus the minimum. Well, 4 minus 4 is 0, so it's 1 half times 0, so that's 0. All right, so we have our values. A is 4, B is pi over 6, C is 0, D is 0. All right, so we write our equation. Y equals 4 cosine pi over 6 x. I don't have to pr use parentheses because C is 0 and then D is 0. So there's my final equation. Hopefully, you can take a calculator and check yourself on this. All right, so we're going to work on this more in class. I just wanted to get you three examples under your belt and uh, make sure to have the notes handy tomorrow in class.